Was Mars once a water world populated by living creatures or not? So far, numerous rovers and probes have reportedly found no real traces of life on Mars until an image shook the world in April 2023. Are the fossilized remains of a lizard-like creature lying on the ground here? Or is it once again just an optical illusion? So many times our eyes have betrayed us before, but this time one of the best astrobiologists of this Earth stated optimistically that this find will change everything so far known. The Dragon Bone In this photo taken by the Mars rover Curiosity in a gigapan of Gale Crater, you can see an elongated stone with strange spikes sticking out of it. The arrangement and curvature of the spikes resemble a fishbone, the spines of archaic Galapagos sea lizards, or even a skeleton. However, since the photo was taken on Mars and no serious sign of life has ever been found there, scientists always think in a different direction first. Accordingly, this is probably not the back of a fossilized lizard, nor a Martian dragon, but an appearance that can be explained by mineralogical or geological processes. In fact, researchers have already found an explanation. Because this stone consists of several layers and materials, sediments and harder materials, may have been deposited in fine cracks and crevices. Nevertheless, this would mean that the stone was very likely part of a riverbed in the past, and the current washed small pebbles and other material into the cracks. After the water disappeared, everything dried up and fossilized. Violent Martian storms and the tons of Martian sand contained within acted like a sandblaster over the millions of years and removed the soft material. The much harder material compacted in the cracks, on the other hand, remained. Astrobiologist Shows Enthusiasm Natalie A. Cabral is a French-American planetologist and leader in the field of astrobiology. The expert has been studying former lakes on Mars for decades. Cabral commented on the find on Twitter, saying, I've been studying Mars for 20 years, and this is the most bizarre rock I've ever seen. Cabral went on to say that she can't wait to see closer analyses of the stone. The veteran scientist is part of the senior team at NASA's Astrobiology Institute and has been studying possible biosignatures on Mars for 20 years. In addition to working with thousands of Martian stones on screen, Cabral is investigating the possibility of life on Mars with us on Earth. High mountain lakes in the Andes likely have environmental conditions very similar to those on early Mars. In the 5,920-meter-high inactive Lycancaburn volcano, Cabral and her team found many microorganisms, suggesting that they may also have existed on Mars in earlier times. Under certain conditions, microorganisms develop into higher organisms such as animals, plants, or even humans. However, exactly how these processes take place is still a mystery. Researchers hope, not least also therefore, to find on Mars traces of evolution, which fit as puzzle pieces into our own history. But how do scientists actually investigate rocks thousands of kilometers away? Before rovers are deployed on the surface, scientists use image material from orbiter probes and telescopes for this purpose. With the help of certain spectrometers, rocks can also be studied from a distance. Rock reflects sunlight, changing the structure of the light rays in very typical ways so researchers can tell from the light spectrum what types of materials and elements are contained. Some types of rock also emit their own radiation and can be easily studied from Earth, even if the rock is hundreds of thousands of kilometers away on another planet. The Mars rover Curiosity and its almost identical colleague Perseverance offer researchers like Natalie Cabral unique opportunities like never before. Not only are the two robots capable of picking up rocks from the ground and holding them very close to the cameras, the two also have technical equipment that resembles a traveling high-tech laboratory. The ChemCam can target rock samples with pinpoint accuracy using a laser and a spectrometer. The laser vaporizes a tiny portion of the rock and the released material is then analyzed using the spectrometer. ChemCam stands for chemistry and camera. The mix of camera and laser spectrometer measurements can determine the chemical composition of rocks and identify all known chemical elements. 
Researchers use MastCam to take high-resolution images of rock formations of all kinds. Extreme magnifications provide scientists with detailed visual information about rock structure and texture. Skilled geologists can immediately identify specific rock types by texture, colors, or inclusions. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, or APXS, bombards the outer layers of the rock with alpha particles and then measures the X-rays emitted by the atoms in the rock. Curiosity and Perseverance have another exciting instrument on board. The Sample Analysis at Mars, or SAM, is a complex instrument that pulverizes rock samples and then analyzes them by heating them up. In this way, the organic chemistry in the rock can also be studied and even the isotopic composition can be determined. To examine the Dragonstone precisely is therefore no problem, nor is it to distinguish between fossils from stone, sedimentary deposits, and metals. Up to now, however, no official study is available to the find. The evaluations of the investigations are still allegedly running, and this circumstance heated naturally further speculations. What the Second Look Reveals Everyone who does not know that this photo was taken on Mars thinks at first sight of a dead animal or the fossils of a dead animal. The shapes and structures seem too obvious. But researchers know all too well that our perception can play tricks on us when it comes to such shapes. An effect called pareidolia ensures that we humans always first try to see something familiar in unknown things. The brain automatically compares new shapes and impressions with stored data and knowledge. Thus, a normal person thinks of fish, bones, lizards, or fossils at first sight. An experienced Mars researcher is not so quick to fall for this effect. Nevertheless, scientists also know the phenomenon that the attention is first attracted by familiar or somehow strange-looking things. If we look at the whole picture created in the Gale Crater, your impressions will probably change quickly as well. Now, the brain also scans the surroundings of the strange rock and relates the object to the things and stones in the surroundings. Here, you can recognize other stones, which are similarly shaped, but look less like lizards or fish. Although, with a little imagination, you might be able to recognize some crocodile teeth, like the stone in the back left, or even a fin with spines, which is just submerged in the sand floods. More realistic natures, however, immediately recognize that these are clearly rocks, all built up in a similar layering. The theory of hardened sediment inclusions thus immediately becomes much more probable. That these are really fine spines protruding from the stone is shown very nicely by the shadows. Without the shadows, the black spiky parts could also be dark inclusions in the rock and optical illusions. The Phenomenon of Pareidolia those who have studied Mars and rocks on this planet are already familiar with the effect of optical illusion through perception, light, and shadow. Famous examples are the Martian face and the pyramid. In the case of the Martian face, it was angles of incidence and shadows that apparently created a face. Photographed from a different angle and at a different time of day, the face had disappeared. Since the discovery of the first pyramid on Mars, many more have appeared. Curiosity found a new pyramid not so long ago. This stone, however, is only 25 by 40 centimeters. On May 7, 2022, the masked camera aboard NASA's rover took another photo that sparked speculation around the world. The image apparently showed an entrance carved into the Martian rock. The door does indeed look quite like portals to underground temples or burial grounds on Earth. And yet, we are dealing with a natural phenomenon here as well. If we take a look at the entire structure, the whole already appears quite different. As soon as still the dimensions are known, ideas of an entrance carved into the stone to premises inside collapse like a house of cards. In reality, the door in the stone is so small that at most a dog or a cat would fit through it. Real Discoveries by Curiosity Curiosity in its journey through Gale Crater by no means only detects things that fool our human brains, but also regularly discovers things that are real and unusual like this structure. Again, most of us have associations with a coral or plant structure at the ready. 
This effect is supported by the wavy structures in the Martian sand. The part is definitely not an optical illusion. However, researchers don't really know what it is either. The structure is smaller than a coin, and therefore really tiny. Scientists currently consider it unlikely that the find is due to life processes. It is probably the result of a crystallization process. When liquid water withdrew from the site long ago, this typical angular crystal structure may have formed. Over time, weathering processes have given rise to the rough and coral-like surface. Thus, once again, we have evidence of water on Mars. Both rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance are traveling in areas that are most likely dried up lakes or riverbeds. Nowhere is the chance of discovering traces of life as great as in these areas. Normally, where there is water, there is life. At least that's how it is here on Earth. It is hard to imagine that in lakes and oceans or rivers, no microbe, no fish, and no algae is cavorting. But that's exactly what the findings on Mars seem to confirm. The latest images from Curiosity. To conclude this video, we share with you a very special image of the rover. Curiosity took five frames at 9.20 in the morning and five frames at 3.40 in the afternoon on April 8, 2023. Technicians of NASA put these together afterwards to a uniquely beautiful panorama of the Marker Band Valley. To create a real postcard image of Mars, the image was colored afterwards. Blue shows the morning panorama and yellow is the sky on Mars in the afternoon. We say goodbye now with a selfie Curiosity took in front of Mont Marcou. Tell us what you think about the discovery of the bone-like rock. Could it really be mineral? Or do you think the relics of a living being are more likely?